Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we take a look at uh, a comic book I don't know from French or Belgium or Franco Belgium um, and it's called Gaston and it has been the source um, of a lot of joy for myself and my cousins and people who have read this and let me show you a bit of this comic um, before we start if you want to uh, buy a Noir Werewolf, check out the links down below. If you want some comics or if you want a commission from me, um, hit me up with an email or check Etsy or eBay for that. So let's get to Gaston. Um, well, who is Gaston? I don't know. Um, they say he works at uh, the Carlson Comics um, in German it's called Verlag what is it, it's like publishing house and um, this is Gaston number 5 and Gaston is a really cool type, maybe he's like uh, he's a bit of a hippie and he's also um, an inventor and he has, he has a good heart and so he works at this Carlson comic and he's like, um, I don't know, kind of like the runner. He does every job that has to be done. And this guy, um, I think his name is Demo and he's the artist there. And this guy, I don't know what he does. No, this is Demo. Um, and um, he's kind of like the the chef of the publishing house and so there's always uh, stress in that office it's it's kind of like the office it's kind it's 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 the office before there was the tv show the office uh just a bit more funnier or even even funnier than that and so um while everybody is busy working gaston is busy kind of living and he has um, this bird with him and his cat and his fish and um, I think in a place where everybody's working really really hard as you can see here <laughs> he's kind of avoiding always life and enjoying life at his own terms and that makes him very very uh, sim sympathetic how do I say it in English sympathetic sympathetic we say in German or in Italian it's simpatico but yeah well it's it's a cool dude and um, there's always some shenanigans up in this it's always like one page cartoons which is really beautiful like it's um, everything the whole book is put together by one page episodes and that tells the story and also like the very cartoony illustration are just beautifully to read let me show you this this uh, piece so um they're sneaking up on gaston gaston just going um, as you can see like beautifully drawn look at this like um the cartooning on this page is just masterful by frank quinn i probably will check out how he drew and how he layouted it and what tools he used um, probably back in the days, um, I would say maybe they used uh, a pen nib, which means they have, um, this is a typical uh, pen, but a pen nib might be just like, um, do I have one at my hand? Well, it's just like you have a holder and then you have a nib um, and then you put it in ink or you have um, some, some ink filling it. And what this allows it uh, is you get very sharp lines from this side and you get a thicker side from this side. Uh, let me show you. Like as you can see, like this is like the broader side and this is the thinner side, at least in theory. But as you can see, um, and I, I write with this, so this is not a typical pen nib for... Um, drawing or penciling and probably they used also like brushes like ink and brushes but we will find out and so 
there's always something going on and Gaston knowingly or unknowingly um, his presence always creates chaos in this workspace and so uh, today they want to make sure he can't um, interfere with um, a high guy that's always coming in his name is Herr Bruchmüller at least in German it's this guy and I don't know what what he's up to, but uh, he and Damo always want to um, sign some very, very important papers. And that is like the running gag that it's always like it never gets done. Like they always want to sign some papers, some merging or some big merger. I don't know what's going on, but always Gaston um, sabotages this uh, unknowingly. And it's either his animals or uh, something, something else. And so De Demo, I think he's uh, the chef of this publishing house. Um, this time the cat, again, um, he stole a fish. And this time, again, Herr Bruchmüller is coming. And he says, uh, how up? Uh, like, um, how do you say? Get a getaway cat. And then he kind of sees that Gaston is in there with his animals and so he locks him inside and says okay nothing can go wrong now and Herr Bruchmüller comes in uh, after two weeks to sign the papers and again it gets sabotaged and like it's a running gag and it's pretty pretty funny and so many things happen um, different issues focus on different things I guess this issue focus um, it's called uh, Alles für die Katz um, in German it means um, that it's all in vain but instead of all in vain like we, we use kind of like um, Alles für die Katz all for the cat that it means it's in vain so this issue probably focuses more on um, the cat and the bird and they cause always trouble and that's also beautiful like this guy just uh, walking and going about his day and then he's, he hears like a <whistles> boing and then something hits him and then the policeman says um, that's disgusting people drunk on the street and then he gets hit also with something and then both both fall into their arms and then beautifully drawn car look at this like beautifully like this is some old school good riding good cartooning and then Herr Bruchmüller comes in again and then he gets hit and um, Demel tries to find out what's going on he finds some tuna fish cans and Gustav says, oh, come in, come in, I have to show you something, some really cute thing. Like, uh, usually the bird who spends, um, like the bird uh, spends his time with Gaston, he doesn't want to go back to the sea. And he takes um, the cat's tuna fish and he tries to open them up by throwing them out of the window, uh, like um, they used to do with, um, what do you call them, like oysters? Or something like that and yeah like chaotic stuff and yeah Gaston is always doing some crazy stuff and the cat is interfering with the work and uh, some strange fumes going on and yeah it's pretty it's pretty uh, cool like it's always some trouble in this office and Gaston has a girlfriend I don't know what's her name uh, Fräulein Trudel, she's called in the German issue, and here's a coffee stain. Again, I got this off eBay to do the review and to have one Gaston again in my um, in my collection. And as you can see, like um, pretty simple drawings, but the cartooning is really, really great. Um, the ex exaggeration of the hands and the head, so. Whoever's drawing this like uh, knows his stuff again, the Frank Quinn, and but also the writing is really good. I don't know, is it by the same person? And um, as you can see, also the inking is very beautiful. Like the shapes are beautiful, but uh, you can see where the light comes from above, and um, the rest is in the shadow. And it's just like beautiful, the events that take place and the drawings and 
Um, this is some very light-hearted and fun stuff. And when I was young, I think uh, the world can be sometimes a very oppressing and mean place. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is very, very, very light-hearted and... Um, it's beautiful that something like this exists because you have the time, you can read, you can enjoy the drawings um, and just see other people um, <laughs> go through chaos and kind of rise above it and it's just beautiful Like, um, and the comedy is also really great the things people get themselves into like here For example, his um, bird, I don't know what, what this kind of bird is called in English. In German we call it Möwe. And uh, it has um, a bad mood. It always has a bad mood. And so everybody's trying to get, um, how do you say, like a duck and cover. And so Krause gets hit by... Um, by the bird and they say Gaston what are you doing um, are you kidding this thing roaming freely here around <laughs> and Gaston say oh uh, come on it's just a bird how hard can the beak of the bird be um, like uh, it's just it's just uh, it's just a bird's beak Don't 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 be a sissy. And then we see in the final panel that the bird uh, is kind of opening the tuna cans for himself and a cat. And yeah, that's kind of like the comedy. And yeah, I wanted to present this to you in case you don't know it yet. I know that the world uh, right now there's a lot of YouTube free to play games all of that stuff there's a lot of new comics old comics american comics um but gaston and also like spirit and fantasio which i will show uh, in the next video are kind of classics and this is um I, th i think there is an early gaston it looks a bit different and this is like the gaston i used to read with some really beautiful drawings And I had really, really fun times because always, always something happening again here at night. Gaston um, getting some strange plant and with his best friend trying to get it up the elevator. And they send it up and they take um, the stairs. And Herr Bruchmüller is pissed because he has to come in at night at a time where Gaston should not be in the office. Then he opens um, up the elevator and gets hit by this strange plant or cactus. And so uh, Gaston and his friend, they wonder, where is it? And Demel wonders, where is Herr Bruchmüller? And so again, sabotaged and a lot of this stuff, like always some beautiful trouble going on. Um, I have another book here uh, called Calvin and Hobbes. I wanted to do a long time ago a review on this. But yeah, this cartooning stuff, uh, I don't know if it got out of style, but it's really, really beautiful. And it's also beautiful to just sit aside, enjoy a comic or a cartoon like this. I don't know if um, the youth today is into stuff like this or if they're all wired up on computers and laptops. I know I used to be, but um, I kind of came back to the more simpler analog lifestyle and yeah it's beautiful to have stuff like this to look at it and to learn from it um, yeah I mean great illustrations great cartooning a lot to learn so um, just the expressions and the stories and the stuff that's going on here is so beautiful and yeah Uh, and what I have to say before I um, end this video is like all the people or all the figures in this um, cartoon, they feel kind of very real, like also the world. Like Gaston here um, has a puzzle 
and he's uh, glad he has it. It has 2,500 parts. Let me go in a bit deeper. I hope the camera stands will help or work. Um, and he's losing parts and people are picking up the parts and he doesn't notice that he's losing them and beautifully drawn. Like look at this beautiful cartooning. Um, like look at this old guy and the kids. Like look, it's so beautiful. It's just the energy and um, the free-flowing lines and how people look and hear uh, a drunk bum and everybody's trying um, to get a piece of the puzzle and they're all following Gaston and Gaston is losing those pieces and everybody says hey come on and then once they meet all up uh, at his office they're trying to put it all together and that, that's just beautiful it's just beautiful storytelling it has heart and mastery and I kind of miss this in these days like um, things have uh, become maybe 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 old people always say that like things have become so heartless and technical um, maybe I'm getting old but yeah that's that's what we say and it's kind of um, a simple a simple thing but very beautifully so I don't know what else to say just that I enjoyed it pretty much um, there's something magical in these drawings and also in these stories it's very calming it's very funny uh, the art is very good and it's also really enjoyable to see, um, see these characters develop from <laughs> kind of page to page or little stories to little stories and have fun with them yeah so, pretty cool stuff. I know um, when I was young, I enjoyed this very, very much. And not much more to sh say. I want to show you a bit of the stuff. But yeah, a lot of beautiful illustrations and just a great comic. If you resonate with this, maybe you get some of it. And yeah, here in the back page a lot of stuff I've not really read. I've not yet read um, The Incal and John De Fool, which probably is a bit of a shame, uh, but I will. And yeah, a lot of Franco-Belgium stuff and Corto Maltese we will cover. Lucky Luke I used to read and yeah, pretty beautiful, beautiful stuff from Europe and in the album format. Um, again, I'm more influenced by the American comic style thing, by muscles and brutes, but we will see. Uh, I wish you a great day and till soon.